at the basic level, hey, enforce secondary and tertiary owners of every team. Microsoft lists this as a best practice out of the box, so make sure you got more than one owner. And take advantage of it, sensitivity labels. Sensitivity labels are really awesome. They're, I could probably do an entire hour session just on sensitivity labels alone. The standard kind of normal use case for sensitivity labels is to apply classifications to actual objects like files, emails, etc. But you can absolutely apply sensitivity labels to containers. And Teams is a container of sorts. So I could apply a sensitivity label to a team, and I could leverage that sensitivity label as a classification to have other mechanical pieces that get applied as a result. So obviously on the owner's side, it's a very simple thing. Just make sure you've got more than one owner. As you're taking inventory, keep track of you know how many teams are out there that are ownerless or headless. How many teams are out there that have channels with no owners, but there's owner at the team level. So all these different things matter. Because every headless team is a, not only a wasted object sitting on a shelf, but it's also a potential security risk. Because if I don't have access to it, who does? You know, and when we talk about guest users later, you know, that, that all that stuff starts to bubble up. On the sensitivity label side, you know, these come from Microsoft Purview, obviously, the information protection, and they let you classify and protect that organizational data. And then make sure that user productivity and user's ability to collaborate is non-hindered with the ability to kind of tighten up things. So here's a really simple example. I've applied the confidential label to this team. And as you can see, it prevents me from creating anything other than a private team for that particular label. If it were a general label, I might have the option to create public or org-wide teams. So this is, a, again, a very simplified example. But these are the kinds of things that sensitivity labels will open up for us. And if you take it to the next level, you can utilize tools, not to toot our horn, but, you know, Corview allows the ability to automate a lot of this stuff. And, you know, you can build out policies and processes for creation of new teams that include application of sensitivity labels, that include enforcement of secondary and tertiary, tertiary ownership. So as you're, again, as you're strategizing, you want to keep in mind the different tools and concepts that are at your disposal to help to get to those ends.